Hello everyone, today I'm going to take you to a place which is usually off the tourist path. We are located on the Celio Hill in close proximity to the Colosseum. You can actually get here from the Colosseum through this road. Take the Via Claudia until you find yourself in front of the ruins of this Neuronian aqueduct. From here you will have to make a left and take the Via of Santo Stefano Rodondo. The name of the street already gives us a hint to what we're going to see shortly. shortly. It's a church, which was not very hard to guess considering that Rome has 900 churches. In fact, Rome is the first city in the world for the number of churches. Here we are at the entrance of the church of Santo Stefano Rodondo, which in English is called St. Stephen in the Round. It's one of the most ancient churches in Rome and the most ancient church in Rome with a circular plan. From outside it looks uh, more or less as an ordinary church. We have a small portico with columns. But let's go and have a look inside. As we enter, the atmosphere is cozy, intimate, peaceful. This is why this is one of the most chosen churches for weddings in Rome. We can observe the central nave as a circular plan with the altar in the middle and seats around it. I'm wearing a mask because uh, inside churches masks are mandatory. Anyway, this is the central nave, which is encircled with the round outer walls. And the outer walls are all de decorated with a series of 34 frescoes depicting scenes of martyrdom. It's very common to see scenes of martyrdom uh, in any church that we probably already visited. But these ones are so cruel and, and raw almost brutal that they almost seem splatter scenes in a horror movie so if we take a closer look to those frescoes that feeling of the comforting feeling the feeling of coziness and intimacy that we had at the beginning suddenly fades away so all those 34 scenes they uh, depict scenes of martyrdom of the first christians and they all describe in particular which saint and which under which Roman emperor this was done. For example, let's take a look at this one. This says the emperor Nero, it's in Latin and in uh, Italian. The emperor Nero did this to Saint Gervasio. And in this scene, we have saint, the saint here being killed by dogs. Or then let's take the, the next one. We have the emperor Domitian, which did this to Saint, Saint John, to Saint John, they put him in a cauldron and uh, lit up the fire. Let's go on the next one. This again, the emperor Domitian that we had it the head of St. Dionysus. Then we have under the Emperor Trajan, uh, Saint Ignatius being killed by lions. Then under the Emperor Adrian we have Saint Eustachius being put in a bronze bow statue which then it's uh, heated up with fire underneath. I'm not going to show you all of those 34 frescoes because some of them can be a little bit cruel, too brutal for some of us and also because you need to come and see it for yourself. Anyway, why so much cruelty shown into a church? Well, first of all, St. Stephen was the first martyr of Christianity and this makes sense to have all of those martyrdom scenes into his own church. Second of all, there was a precise function for these paintings. They were made in around the 1500s where the Jesuit missionaries were about to sail to South America. This was a kind of a waiver of uh, uh, a way of raising the awareness of those missionaries 
of the dangers that they may encounter uh, with indigenous people in South America, such as a waiver to say, be careful of what you're going through because uh, you might encounter death and before death, all those kind of tortures there. Anyway, isn't it curious that this church is one of the most requested churches for weddings in Rome? Some say that the frescoes of this church continue to have the same function as they had back then, warning the spouses of the dangers and tortures they may encounter during marriage. In society, probably spouses and guests won't even notice the frescoes because as you enter, this church embraces you in a round big hug and really does keep your attention elsewhere. I hope you like this little virtual tour of the Church of St. Stephen in the Round in Rome and that inspired you for your future trips next time you are here. Remember we also do live virtual tours. You only need to visit our website livevirtualguide.com and book your tour or you can just send in a request for a tailor-made live virtual tour. If you like the video just please comment and like below. I want to know what you think about it and if you have been here and if you like the church. And if you will ever choose this church for your wedding. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Ciao!